Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Have you ever noticed that broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, anything in that family tends to get holes in it and there's something eating your plants? Well, here's what's eating my plants and what you can do about it. I have some Brussels sprouts here and this is a telltale sign that you have a problem when you have all these holes all over your plants and they are just going to be cabbage worms. And if you look down in the center here, now I've been picking these off, but here's one right here. These little cabbage moth worms are what is eating all of your plants. And so every couple days I come out here, I pick them off. I just toss them, toss them in something. They're really fast crawlies. And then I look carefully and I'll see there, these are small ones. I don't know if you guys can see that little small one. This guy's gotta come out. And then I got another one over here. And you gotta pick these off. There you go. I'll just toss them over in the thing. And I just feed, where do you go? <laughs> I feed these to my chickens, but you have to do this to every plant. Now this one, you can see, doesn't have as many holes on it. So it has only a few holes on it. So this one I don't think has a big problem with that. What'd you find? That one. All right, pick them off for me, please. This is a super fun job for kids. At least my kids really like picking the little worms off. See, there's another one right there if you miss a couple days the worms will get really big i try to keep on top of them so they don't ever do a lot of damage oh, here's another one right there that's a bigger one yeah right there there's another one and another sign that you have a cabbage uh, a caterpillar problem are these little tiny cabbage um there are these tiny little poops that the caterpillar leaves behind so that's another sure sign the bigger the poop the bigger the caterpillar and i just go down the line and check all of my plants most every day there's anything in that one no nope, that one looks pretty good now this is a cabbage plant and this one i've been oh well speaking of this right here flying floating around is a cabbage moth i don't think i can catch them for you but that's what these uh <laughs> that's what these worms are they're going to turn into little cabbage moths but they do a ton of damage okay so here inside my cabbage look at this folks there's one worm two worms there's another one up here so these all have to come out so if you already have cabbage worms on your plants, there's not a whole lot of organic methods for controlling them other than picking them off. If you are planting first thing in the spring, I would suggest covering your plants, which would eliminate this whole need to hand pick them with a netting, a bug netting, I have off on the side here. This one I actually had to remove because my plants were getting too big. But anything, you can probably find this in your local hardware store. Amazon has them. I will put the link down to this one here that I've been using. They have all different sorts of sizes. That keeps that moth from actually laying her eggs on the plants. And to find a cabbage moth eggs, you can see there's one right there. And they're usually all over the plants. Um, there's another one down here right there and those are gonna hatch and turn into little worms see there's another one I also try to remove those when I'm checking for worms and you can see there must be a worm in here because there's all these holes in my cabbage so I'm gonna try to find it and pull it off there's lots of green poops in there here's a big one right here sitting on the stem Shoop. sorry fella you can't eat my plants so if you have holes in your broccoli or your cabbage or cauliflower, any of those type of plants, that's probably what you have going on. Just look towards the center. They like to eat that young, the young tender flesh of the plant. Look there, pick them off by hand, feed them to your chickens, give your chickens some an extra tasty treat, and know that we all have the same problem. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Happy gardening.